Hey guys, Todd here with Swinky Golf. Brad Watson from the Ducker Performance Center. Today we're going to demonstrate the bent over twist with the slide. And we're going to use the Swinky to do so. So inside there'll be the two fiberglass alignment rods. So we'll get it set up. Just place the rods all along the ground like so. And this is going to be on the inside of your stamps. Brad, you want to take it from here? Sure. So what we're trying to do on this exercise is have a relatively wide stance. It will obviously be uh, wider than your, than your golf stance. Um, and an important note for this one is that the exercise is not meant to mimic the golf swing. Uh, it's meant to help kind of loosen up some musculature around the hips and uh, as well as through the, through the abdomen to help them rotate and have good flexibility in the golf swing. So what we're going to have Todd do here is uh, hold the swing key right up against his shoulders. So it's right on the meaty part of the shoulders. He's going to have the elbows up. It's really important that he does that. Okay, now he's going to bend over at the hips. Okay, and now using the swing key, he's going to try and point with the swing key towards the rod on the opposite side. So as he turns, he can look down the shaft of the swing key and look right at the rod there, and then he'll rotate back the other way. Notice as he's doing the rotation, his hips are also sliding from side to side. Going back to my previous point there about it not being a golf swing, we don't actually want to have very much rotation of the hips here. We want to try and keep the hips as stable as we can. The more separation we have between the hips and the shoulders, the better. Great, thank you, Brad. As always, with the swing in your golf bag, this is something you can do on the range. It's going to help out your game. Thanks for watching.